now coming off the St. John's loss, do you feel like these last five games are must wins? Is the next game a must win? Kind of how do you approach this last stretch? I think right now we're taking it sort of game by game, and um, you know we're not trying to get ahead of ourselves. We know that we need to win games in order to. Um, put ourselves in a good position to make the tournament and be successful. Um, but I don't think we look at every game as a must win. Um, rather, we're just taking it game by game. Um, I think our team's you know pretty excited for the game coming up, and um, yeah, we're sort of taking it from there. Matt, in, in the past, there's been summer league, and guys have come over and played a lot of open gym in the summer and everything, and there's been a lot of familiarity with the players. Um, with the new rules allowing you guys to do individual workouts and guys not playing summer league as much, do you know the UC players? Are you guys familiar with them like it's been in the past, or do you not really know those guys? I think some guys are pretty familiar with them because um, I, I think a lot of the new guys definitely did um, do the summer league. But, yeah, like with me, I don't, I don't know a lot of the freshmen. I, I remember the guys who were there last year and the years before. Um, but, yeah, it sort of has taken away a little bit of the familiarity. But um, I think we're, we're well-versed in the other team, and we're excited for it. Did you guys play open gym at all this summer like there's been in the past, or is that pretty much done since the new rules? Yeah, that's pretty much been done. I mean, we, we never played open gym with other guys, but just ourselves, yeah. Remy or Trulon, uh, do you have a, a, a good idea of what this game is about to the city? Does it, uh, does it mean anything to you right now other than another basketball game? Um, I mean, um, um, I mean, I heard a lot about it. Um, I mean, obviously last year I watched the game, uh, even though I couldn't play. So, um, you know, I seen it from like a, just uh, like from a fan's point of view, like just watching the game and seeing how like, you know, all the emotions fly around and, you know, everybody's so pumped up and stuff. But, um, you know, this year being my first year playing in it. So um, I'm very excited, you know, and just, um, just going to take it all in and just be ready to play. What did you take away from that, from watching it from that perspective last year? Um, just everybody's just uh, like I said, so emotional. Um, you know, it's a rivalry game. You know, you know, playing for the city. Uh, you know, leave everything out there on the court. Uh, you know, playing for one another, playing for you know each other. You know, playing for your teammates. So um, I mean, it's a fun game, and um, can't wait to play. Trayvon, coming in as, as a freshman, what have you heard about this game? And you know, do you feel like it's kind of just this built-in big rivalry that you? On the calendar. Uh, yeah, you know, I've been hearing about it, you know, since I stepped on campus over the summer. Uh, people have been talking about this game, and, you know, um, even though we're supposed to take it like it's just another game, you know, really it's not, you know, it's just a battle between two teams that live in the same city, you know, fighting for bragging rights, basically. So, you know, um, people have been talking about it a lot, and so this is a game that we've been, that we've been waiting for, so, you know, we can't wait to get out there and uh, compete against them. Matt, is it a little bit weird having the game so late in the season? I mean, normally it's like early December and there's a big lead up to this conference, but does it feel a little weird playing it so late? It's a little bit different, but um, I guess I like the change in the fact that it's not over a, a Christmas break because um, that's where it's kind of landed the past couple of years. And it didn't take away from the atmosphere, but I think, you know, even more being back on campus and um, being a little bit later in the season, it's different, but I think the atmosphere will be electric as always and it's going to be a fun game. Matt, I've noticed it seems like every time Jalen's coming on or off the court, you stop him and, and give him a little a little talk there. How much will you be trying to talk to him to, tomorrow night, and what will you be saying to him when he's coming on the court? Yeah, I'm sure it's going to be pretty loud, so it'll be hard to communicate. But, you know, I always just try to tell him, like, hey, we need you here. Um, you know, hey, you're guarding this guy. Just trying to basically communicate with him what he needs to do because, you know, there's some things that a lot of guys, including myself, forget when you get in the heat of battle. And, um, you know, if I can – Tell him one point here or there on who he's guarding. Hey, he likes to go right hand. He likes to do this or that. Uh, if that can help us in, in the short term, then I'm all for it. Is it more important in a game like tomorrow where you know Jalen's really going to be going and his motions are going to be everywhere? Yeah, I mean, it's a high emotion game, and that's where Jalen's going to help us. You know, he's, he always brings that energy. I think he's done a good job of sort of channeling it recently. And, um, you know, it's, it's definitely where, you know, hey, make sure you're there. And, um, you know, he's going to be emotional as he is, and we'll, we'll need that. Uh, we know when we went over scouting yesterday, we noticed that they, you know, kind of play a defense similar to Seton Hall, where it's kind of like a zone, but at the same time, it's like they're kind of matched up and stuff. So, you know, something that stuck out to me is, you know, how aggressive they play. You know, they like playing in the passing lanes and stuff like that, getting steals and easy turnover. So, you know, we just have to be able to take care of the ball and stuff like that. Um, you know, when we we uh, played against teams before who like pressuring the ball and stuff like that. So, you know, as far as defense, it'll be nothing new to us, but, you know, just learning how to uh, keep the ball away from them and stuff like that is something that we're going to have to get used to. Trayvon, speaking of that, like you guys struggled in transition getting back defensively. 
with St. John's, how much do you think you can kind of clean things up in that short term? I think I think we can clean it up pretty good because you know I think over the last couple of weeks of practice we've been working on transition defense and it's been going well. I think Saturday was just kind of a, a mental breakdown on our end and something that we can easily fix and we've been working on that in practice and I think we've done a good job uh, of it so far. These kind of games is it a lot of Um, I believe like it's more exciting. Um, I mean, when you get out there, you know, and it's gonna be a people saying stuff to you. You know, it's a lot of fans screaming, different things like that. But uh, I feel like you just got kind of stay in the moment, um, knowing that you're out there playing for your teammates. And um, like I said, just come out there, be ready to play. You know, don't let the emotions uh, get the best of you, and um, all the hype and stuff like that. And just, you know, look at it like um, you know, it's kind of playing in a, a regular game. You know, when you get out there on the court, so. Uh, probably. Auburn was pretty tough. Villanova was pretty tough. I don't know. Um, yeah, I guess you can say Villanova. Villanova was, um, you know, that was a pretty hostile place to play in. Uh, I feel like probably tomorrow night would be probably number one to be the you know best place you play in because of the rivalry and stuff like that. So, like I said, we just can't let the you know motion, the hype, you know, get the best of us. We just gotta stay in the moment. And, uh, you know, stay focused. Uh, continue to you know know what we need to do to you know win the game. Matt, for you guys in this group, is there any sort of genuine, not for any individual, but is there any sort of genuine dislike for the program that kind of gets you pumped up when people talk about that? Maybe when you watch that, they can go watch I don't think there's any like you know hatred or anything like that, but I think you know when you're when you're on the court, you're competing against someone and you you don't like them at that moment, um, but you know. And when it comes to not like liking the other team, I don't think that's anything that's, you know, thought of on our team. Um, but I mean, yeah, when we get on the court, it's I don't like you. I know you don't like me, and we're trying to win the game. So when it comes down to, it, I guess you could say, yeah, we don't like them, but there's no hatred or anything, anything negative in that aspect. None of you guys were here uh, back in 2011 when all happened, forced the two-year hiatus, the off-campus. The has that been brought up at all? Did Chris have Chris brought it up to you guys at all? No, I mean, I think he knows that a lot of the guys weren't here for the um, the brawl or whatever. But I think that everything's going to be in check. There's going to be no issues like that, and I think we're all just ready to play some basketball. Now, how much is this with college basketball? Um, you've seen this you know, <clears throat> different angles, different schools, the big games, the rivals, kind of thing. When people talk about college basketball. They think Yeah, it's very cool. It's something that, you know, gets the attention of the whole city. And that's, you know, it's hard to do. You know, at the high school level, you have games with your rivals, and it's, you know, selling out smaller gyms. And now you're at the bigger level. You're kind of at one of the biggest stages almost. And, um, you know, to get, like, to divide a city into two different sides and making them having to choose a side, it's fun. Because you know that there's always going to be that great atmosphere. You know, people are going to be pumped up, riled up, wanting you to win, giving their input. Um, you know, it, it's a fun game. I don't think so. I think there is pressure, but I think um, you know we do a good job of understanding what's real pressure and sort of what's fake pressure. I mean, from fans who want you to win, obviously you want to you know come through for them. But you know, a lot of it, you look left and right at your teammates and you say, "Hey, I want to win this game for us. I want to win this game for you know a lot of different reasons." Um, so I think there is pressure, but it's not insurmountable. Are you almost kind of glad? Uh, yeah, you know, uh, I think when we go to any road trips, you know, we like kind of spoiling their night and stuff like that. So, you know, uh, playing at Cincinnati, you know, having it back on the campus for the first year, you know, our, our goal is to, you know, spoil their night, ruin their night. I mean, that's just the way we want. That's our mentality going into to, into games like that. And I think if, you know, we stay on top of our stuff and stick to the game plan, then everything should go according to plan.